Welcome to these healthcare resources. They're designed for trainers to use with learners with literacy and numeracy learning needs in the healthcare field. For example, in a residential care facility or maybe a home-based care setting. The resources aim to support you to embed literacy and numeracy in your workplace. They're focused on helping you know what to do with learners with literacy and numeracy learning needs. For example, you know your learners lack confidence to speak up in a meeting. These resources will give you ideas of how to address this and help your learners develop their listening and speaking skills. The resources are aligned to the learning progressions for adult literacy and numeracy and reference the range of other related resources you can find on the National Centre website. They are designed to be used with groups in a workshop setting. Peer support is very helpful when it comes to transferring learning to the workplace, which is what this is all about. The resources are flexible in terms of workshop time. You could do a section at a time in a, in a team meeting once a week or run them in a series of 60 minute workshops. You could even integrate them into your orientation program for new staff. So what do these resources consist of? Well, they're a collection of teaching ideas and instructions that will help you develop your practice as a trainer in this, in this area. They are organized in teaching and learning sequences, which describe approaches you can use with learners. Effectively, these are lesson plans describing teaching and learning activities. The teaching and learning sequences introduce the resources. These consist of handouts for learners, cards, cut up questions or prompts, reflection sheets, slideshows and short YouTube video clips with authentic examples from the workplace. The best way to approach them is to watch the introduction clip for each resource, then read through the teaching and learning sequence. You can then decide to use the whole sequence or alternatively just use the sections that are going to be most relevant to the needs of your learners. The approach to learning is practical, learning by doing something and then talking about it. And the resources are designed to maximize the chances of transfer occurring from the training situation into the workplace. Typically, a teaching and learning sequence will start with a discussion of what happens in the workplace at the moment so learners have a chance to talk about their experience and current practice. Then there is input or a chance to observe, notice and analyze. After this, there's a practice task or simulation, maybe a role play where learners can try out skills and you can coach them. Finally, there's a transfer task where learners go back to their work, look at practice through a new lens and try out what they've been doing in the class. This final stage is critical for transfer. It's important to give learners permission to change things and do something different, and they need that support and direction. They then come back to class to talk, to, to talk it through. What did they do? What happened as a result? Did it help? What changes do they need to make next? What further help and support do they need? What you're trying to do is set up a cycle of planning, action, and reflection. Initially, there are two modules here. The first is about building effective care relationships and is focused on the interaction skills between carers and clients working one-to-one. -one. The second focuses on meetings, encouraging more participation so learners are more actively involved in team meetings. Good luck and have fun using these resources. <laughs>